Hi all, Steph here again, and I want to talk about expectations. I found myself recently talking to a client and saying, stop expecting to have your expectations met. Now this works for us all the way across the board. More and more I'm finding personally, professionally, with people I know and people I don't even know that we get into trouble when we have unmet expectations. Well, I thought he said she was going to, things will be fine when, and it all takes us out of the moment and into the, the perfect future. These are my expectations. When they're met, this will happen. It's kind of a, a subset of the when then concept that I've talked about before. So what I've started to do is I just track when I get upset, disappointed, get my knickers in a twist, thinking that something in the future is gonna be perfect and then when I get there it's more the future imperfect than the perfect. What is the piece, where's my piece in this? And it is invariably unmet expectations. I had expectations that weren't met. So the practice becomes another reason to come back to the present, another reason to come back to the moment. This piece, this moment, this frame in time. Stay here, stay here. That's all any of us have, ultimately. That way, you're living from moment to moment rather than counting on something happening in the future that will, that will what? You're not there yet. You're not there. Stay here. Be mindful. Have some anticipation now and then. But the hook is the expectation unhook yourself from that necessary expectation and come back to the here and now. What's your experience with expectations? Do they get you into trouble? Do you manage them? How do you negotiate expectations? Let us know. Share with us. RapidBodyMindClarity.com wander over and let's connect. Until next time, cheers.